Hey everybody, what's going on? So I just wanted to make another video. It's been a while since I've talked a bit about Robert Kennedy Jr. And as you guys know, I am a big supporter of him. And if you're new to the channel, uh, you may not be aware of that, but I'm telling you right now, that is going to be who I support in the uh, election coming up in November. And I also mentioned a few weeks ago that as we're since we're approaching the election period, I am going to be doing more Robert Kennedy Jr. videos. So uh, the one thing I wanted to talk about today, the, my biggest talking point, is that there's been a lot of polls that come out, and I know polls can be up and down, they take small sample sizes, they're not the most accurate forms of information for sure. That being said, you keep seeing these polls that Robert Kennedy Jr. is only polling at, you know, 6% or 8% or 10% nationally. So, first of all, he will get more of support than 6%, he'll get more than 10% too. The polls are doing this on purpose and to, to try to make it seem like he's not a popular candidate, he's nothing to worry about, don't throw away your vote. That's what they're trying to do. But as Robert, Robert Kennedy's momentum continues to rise, they now continue to slander him. You know, with the he ate a dog horse shit, which wasn't even true, by the way, he was eating goat. But etc. Cetera, et cetera, oh, he's a nut, he's, he's anti-vaccine, he's all these things, which none of these things are true. And when they send out polls in a lot of places, what they do is they say, you know, here's your options, you know, Harris, Trump, and then it's other. And then you have to fill out other and then mark in who you want. Well, most people don't even look at that. They just go, okay, I, there's only two options. Here's what I'm going to choose. A lot of those people who are selecting Trump or Harris would choose Robert Kennedy if it was a clear third option. At least in my opinion. I think I'm, I'm, I'm hitting that nail on the head for sure because I think that he's... There, there's no way people are just seeing his name and going, oh, I don't like him or I don't know him. Some people do. But let's be honest here. There's about 50 or so percent of voters who are sick and tired of the Uniparty. They're sick and tired of Donald Trump. They're sick and tired of whoever the Democrats put in front of them, whether it's Biden or Harris or whoever else they put in there. They're tired of it. They know it's just a bunch of pandering nonsense. They know that you know, both parties will say, hey, you know, this is about the country and what's best for the people. And then they just start attacking each other. I mean, sometimes it's funny, but it's just like, can we get like a serious politician in here? Robert Kennedy comes along and says, hey, listen, people before politics and country before party. That's what a populism would say, or a populist would say. Donald Trump is a pretend populist. And if you don't believe me, look at how he governed over his four-year term. He wasn't a populist. Robert Kennedy Jr. is much more of a populist than Donald Trump, and especially anyone the Democrats would put in there. If you look at how Robert Kennedy is polling independently, he's doing very well. Amongst independents, he's beating both Trump and Harris. Most voters are sick and tired of the Uniparty. As I said, they're more likely to go and vote for someone who's an independent. Not to mention, half of the country that is legally able to vote does not vote. So think about that for a second. If he can just get, you know, 10, 20, 25% of those people to come and vote, that's tens of millions more votes. I'm not going to predict how many votes I think he's going to get because I think it's very difficult to do that right now when we don't really get accurate information from the polls. But considering how much he's rising in popularity and how much you know, he's getting you know, celebrities, comedians to have him on his podcast and they're talking about him quite a bit. You know, Rogan, Tim Dillon, Theo Vaughn, they, they've all endorsed this guy, saying he's the best option, etc., etc. Russell Brand, same thing. So, you know, for all of this, you know, oh, Robert Kennedy Jr., he's not going anywhere, he's stuck in the mud, he's not gaining any steam, I promise you he is. And it's very likely that he gets north of 30 million votes, in my opinion. I might be wrong. And again, I don't want to guess an exact number here. But I think he's going to get more than 30 million. Now, he's going to need much more than that to win. Can he get up to that 45, 50 million range? I don't know. And is that even going to be enough to win? It just depends, right? It's, it's really hard to tell. This is the first time in my life where there's been a third-party candidate who might actually win multiple states. I don't... It's Again, it's hard to tell, you know, which one, and I've, I've kind of broken down that, like his path to form a contingency election, which essentially means that if he prevents any of the other two candidates from getting 270 electoral votes, they then go to a House vote. 
not sure that benefits Robert Kennedy, but either way, he's he's definitely going to mix things up here. This is not going to be like a normal election like we've seen in the past. This is very different. We have a viable third party option, and every time he goes out and speaks and you know speaks at or holds rallies, he does very well. He gets a lot of people to show up. Not as many as Trump, maybe not even as many as Harris, but there's still a lot of people. And the more people continue to realize he's running, there are some people who don't even know he's running. That's part of the reason why I'm doing this, because I know I have American followers. Some, Most of you, I'm sure, already know, but even if I can convince one person or just inform one person, hey, he's running. Oh, really? There's a Kennedy running? Yeah, you got to check him out. And then the next thing you know, that one person spreads the word and 20 other people find out. Right, so like, even though it's, I have a small channel, I don't have a big platform at all, I still want to make these videos. My channel is mostly about Canadian politics, but I do pay attention to American politics a little bit as well. And I said to you guys, you know, a couple of weeks ago now, I think it was, maybe a month ago, I said that I was going to start making more Robert Kennedy Juniors because I want to continue to push him. I know I can't really do much for him, but I can do a little bit, and a little bit's better than nothing. If you have not heard of Robert Kennedy, or if you've just heard of him, but you never heard his him speak, or if you've never heard any of his policies, just go check him out. Lots and lots of video footage on YouTube of him, you know, being interviewed, or, you know, just kind of talking about his ideas. His policies are very good. He's socially very liberal. He's not anti-vaccine. He's not a dog eater. Like, all, the, all these things are nonsense. Just go listen to what he has to say for yourself. And then make your own decision. If you decide not to vote for him and you think one of the other options are better, that's fine. You're allowed, you're allowed to vote for whoever you want or support for whoever you want. I wish I could vote for Robert Kennedy, but I can't because I'm up here in Canada. So, for my American friends and followers, if you don't know who he is, go check him out. I bet you'll like what he has to say. If you do, spread the word to your friends and family. Maybe, maybe they don't know. we got a few months left to keep pushing this guy, and I think it's very important that we try to do this as best as we can. America needs to heal. It needs to unite. No more of this dividedness bullshit. It's got to stop. we got to find common ground, and we both. everyone needs to realize that the Uniparty has had way too much time. We have not had another president who was not a Democrat or Republic since, like, the 1840s, I believe it was. 1849, if I'm not correct? That's a long time. And what's the Democrats and Republicans done, especially in the last, you know, 60 years or so? <laughs> nonstop wars, nonstop corruptions, nonstop scandals, nonstop, you know, raising the national debt. Companies like BlackRock buying up real estate, so much real estate that they're buying up communities worth of real estate. By 2030, they're on pace to own, I think, 60% of, of the residencies. That's a huge problem. Go check out what Robert Kennedy wants to do about that. It's great. He wants to change the tax codes so that if big corporations start buying up residential properties like that, he just takes away their taxes, gives them, and then taxes them on their properties so much, it would be unprofitable for them to do that. And you could say, well, that's social. It's not socialism. What BlackRock is doing is immoral capitalism, and that's the way you fix it. You just change the tax codes so that these immoral capitalists can't be a moral capitalist anymore. We live in a capitalist society, which means free market. What BlackRock's doing, that's not free market capitalism. It's corporate crony capitalism. So right there, I mean, that's a great idea. Trump's not talking about that. Trump might even appoint Larry Fink, who's the CEO of BlackRock, into his cabinet. After saying for four, eight years now he wants to drain the swamp. Kamala Harris is too busy cackling about everything to even mention it so i mean again she's a corporate democrat which is what trump was for most of his life by the way so you, you don't like most people don't like the two options you have a third option so go vote for him go support him you want real change you want real a real country to be united a real country that pays off its debt and stops over expanding its military vote for robert kennedy jr Please let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm always very interested to hear what you guys have to say, especially on a topic like Robert Kennedy, because he, again, he's a bit of a controversial candidate, but I, I'm really looking forward to hear your opinions. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.